Hey guys, it's Ty Force Games, and I'm back to react to Red vs. Blue Season 13. I think this is Episode 13. Okay, um, let's see, what happened last time? Oh yeah, um, Carolina's still alive, and, um, Church is still alive, which I found absolutely surprising. I thought he was gone for good there, but, oh well, let, let's just see what happens here. Explain things to Doc, okay. Did you realize I was missing? Apparently not. Apparently not. I will destroy you all for your insufferable ignorance. Ooh, this is certainly the most vocal split personality I've ever seen. But I suppose an eternity in isolation will do that to you. Tell me, Mr. Yeah. O'Malley, when you say you wish to destroy us all, what exactly do you think you mean by that? I mean you will cease to exist. You will all die by my hand. Did she just call him up. handsome? Where should I stick the thermometer? Uh, I think we got a winner! <laughs> Finally, some freaking quiet. Hey, you want to see if she left her prescription pad? We need to talk. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You have something explaining to do, Church. Alright, let's try this again. First, we start with a friendly handshake. Devil man. Did you just spit inside your helmet? I get the reference, I get the reference. What? Exactly. God damn it, Palomo. Well, to step up for assault and battery. He provokes me. You rebels are all fucking nuts. That's impossible. Not so have orifices. Go back to school. What about donuts? They're just speaking in riddles and you know it. I'm having a hard time following this conversation. Yeah. Forget it. You guys can go. Fine. How'd I do? You were a constant source of disappointment. Oh, yeah. Screwed? What? We're in the middle of a fucking war and these guys won't do anything but hate on each other. The problem isn't with them, it's just with your approach. What the heck is that supposed to mean? You can't force people into liking each other. Yeah, it's you just true. gotta lie to them until they think they like each other. That, that sounds like a terrible idea. It is. No, he's right. I've used the same tactic on women a million times. <laughs> this is basic shit. First, of course you would, Tucker. Kimball wants to apologize and meet him for dinner. Sorry about that. Then we tell Kimball that Doyle wants to apologize and we invite her to the oh, same Oh dear, restaurant. not this. Oh, come on. Not this kind of situation. That's a plot point used in old sitcoms. And yes. one of those sitcoms was called Friends, which is exactly what we want them to be. Case closed. Face it, moron. We just ain't cut out for this kind of job. What we need is someone with a more delicate touch. Someone that can act as a neutral force. Someone that's neither red nor blue. With some sort Doc. of disgusting middle ground. Like a dark fuchsia. You'll never take me alive. I ran track in high school. Running only makes me want you more. If only um, <laughs> oh dear, they're gonna try and make a ship of this, aren't they? Alright, I do what you're trying to talk about here. Look, sometimes guys my age have performance issues. It's completely natural. Epsilon, I'm serious. Hey, me too. This shit's embarrassing. And now I gotta go talk to Dr. Gray about getting some pills. Stop dodging me on this. <sighs> Look, I'm not failing. That's what you worked up about. But I have my limits. What do you mean? I mean, you can't expect me to run all of your armor equipment at the drop of a hat. That's I'm not true. a young, brand new AI. I'm just one of the fragments. Look, I'm sorry if I pushed you too far. But we can't use that as an excuse. We're going to need every advantage we can get. Oh, you're right. Would you like some holographic projections, too? How about a time distortion while you fight? Or, oh, we can get you sea warmer. How about that? You know what we're up against. And you know what happened to the meta. Ooh. What did you just say? He kept fighting for more and more power, too. And in the end, it got him killed. Don't you ever talk about Maine like you knew him. I just... 
trying to show you how close you're getting to crossing a very dangerous line. Ooh. You're Agent Carolina. You don't need all this fancy stuff to win. You're already the best. Yeah, she is. I appreciate the thought, Church. I really do. Good, because I am really not all about the sincerity stuff. But the only reason we survived the radio jammer is because Locus is insane. He could have killed Wash. And they both could have done a lot more. But they didn't! So what does that have to do with anything anyway? I told you when I went through the gateway that I saw the freelancers. Mm hmm I had to watch them die. Oh. And after they were gone, I saw all of you. Wash, Tucker, the Red. Oh. And Church. I can't lose another family. Scared. Oh. Uh, Doyle? But I'm all too familiar with the feeling. What are you doing here? <sighs> it's my favorite part of the capital. Just far enough away from everything. I come here whenever I need a moment. Hmm. It looks as though you had a similar idea. Shouldn't you be in the center of town? Yeah. Behind 78 inches of bulletproof <laughs> everything? Oh, there's all sorts of things we should be doing. We should be prepping our next move against the enemy. But instead we're here, standing around talking. Yeah. That, that's pretty much what you always do. You know, I believe it was the great William Shakespeare who said, Courage is not the absence of fear. It is acting in spite of it. I don't believe those words have ever been more relevant. I don't know if he said that or not. You can tell me I don't if he had. That was Shakespeare. Yeah, it was. What? Oh. Really? Yeah, pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Still. It's a good quote. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Thank you. <coughs> well, here's to hoping the mercs are just as frustrated as the rest of us. Oh, yeah. I am extremely <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> How? How do you forget to mention something as important as that? We were in a hurry. Oh, you were in a hurry. Hey, Locus, you know, I was really thinking about letting Sharkface live, but since we're in a hurry, why don't we just fucking kill him? Ooh. I'd like to see you try. Done. No violence between partners. He's not a partner. He's an idiot. And thanks to him, we've got a key that does nothing until the general is dead. Then we kill the general. The fight, 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 fight. Hmm. Something about that sounds familiar. <laughs> Said the raving lunatic. Locus, the Tartarus is maintaining an orbit around the planet as discussed. Good. Shall I inform Carmichael that you wish to speak with him? That will be necessary. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Where have I heard that How name before? Can I be of assistance? I want to know more about the meta. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of that. Um. Well, um, let's see here. Um, let's see. We got... The meta was actually mentioned more often in this. Well, in Caroline Church had quite an interesting argument. And, yeah... And, um, let's see, we finally learned what Carolina saw, other than, you know, the freelancers. Um, hmm. <laughs> and Doc and Gray, oh my goodness. I think they might be paying attention to the comments saying, Ooh, once Doc comes back, Dr. Gray will, will be in love with him, and blah blah blah. Now, I know it probably, it's not going to be as simple as that, but what she said... <laughs> Running only makes me want more. <laughs> want you more. <laughs> well, well, I guess that's really all I can think of say right now, so. Till next time, guys.